everyone, it's Adrienne Graham back with another segment of Ask Adrienne. Today I have two questions from two gentlemen that have to do with staffing and growth expansion, my two favorite subjects. So let's get started with the first question. The first question is from Craig in Brooklyn, my hometown, New York City. Hey, Craig. Hi, Adrienne. I have a small shop in Brooklyn. It's thriving right now in the local area because everyone knows about it. However, I have dreams of growing and making it a national company. I don't have the money or the capital to open it open stores across the country, but I think that if I get onto the internet, that I could expand my presence and get a national following. The problem is I need people to come on board to help me with the website of the business, as well as have a few people come into the shop to work. I know that I can't do it by myself. I know that I will go crazy if I try to do it by myself, of course, and I need to know how to do this in the most effective way without breaking my bank. Hey, Craig. Okay, here's the thing. Growth is never easy. You're going to always have to make an investment, but the smart business owner tracks and evaluates their growth and scalability of their business and hires accordingly. Now, that doesn't mean you just go out, run out, place a Craigslist ad and hire a couple of people just to hire to handle the potential workflow. You need to sit and map it out strategically. Figure out how many people you need per units that need to be sold or X amount of dollars of revenue that needs to come into the business. Basically figure out what is your cost per hire and what is it costing you not to have that extra manpower. Now I come from a recruiting background and I mostly deal with the finding the bodies. But what I need to tell you is as a small business owner, I don't want you to shortcut the process. Meaning don't go place lists, uh, ads on Craigslist and expect to hire quality people. You need to be clear about what type of staff you need for your business who handles what responsibilities, and their growth within that position. And then you need to set about finding the right people for that position. It's not always about putting a body in a spot. It's about a cultural fit for your company. It's about hiring people who are excited about your business and who can best maximize your bottom line. You have to make sure that when you hire, you do it the smart way. Make sure you check out our show, Real Talk with Real Entrepreneurs, because we're going to be talking about that. But you have to also keep in mind that as your company grows, people in your team are going to have to take on different responsibilities. So make sure when you hire people, they're flexible and that they're willing to learn and they're willing to grow with the position. And the most important thing, budget. Have a budget to hire the right people. Because remember, you get what you pay for. As far as the web side of it, if you can get people who are web savvy, who understand marketing and understands the sales process, that's half the battle right there. There are a lot of options that you can use on your own to make sure that your web is built, your web presence is built and expanded accordingly. But I would sit down with a business advisor or a business consultant, a business coach, someone like that, who understands your market and understands the growth plotting strategy and sit down and figure out what it's going to cost you to hire and what's it going to cost you to not hire. Whatever you do, please do not shortcut because, again, you get what you pay for. Good luck with the expansion and drop me a line. Let me know what's going on. I would love to know about your store or your shop and maybe come by and visit it one day. So let's move on to question number two. Okay, question number two comes from Steve in Portland. Okay. Steve says, hi, Adrian. I want some advice. I have a business that's done moderately well. I have one service that I offer to my clients, but I feel bored with it. I want to branch out into new markets and serve new customers. And I also want to start offering new services, but I don't know how to do it so that I'm not overextending myself or offering things that people don't want. I don't want to misfire with this effort, but at the same time, I know that I can't stay where I am. I know that growth is inevitable, but I want to get ahead of it. How do I grow the right way? Okay, Steve, there is no one right way to grow your business. I think it's commendable. I think some people do well with just one area of expertise, like Nike has shoes, they sell sneakers, that's what they do. But they have expanded out into apparel wear and things like that. Then you also have companies like, say, Accenture, who do consulting, 
but they branched out and did different kinds of consulting to enterprises, to businesses. So you have to sit back and think, what is it that I can do to add on to this current service? Listen to your customers, listen to your clients. What is it that they feel that they're not getting from you? Or what is it that they feel that either they're missing or maybe they have voice to you that, hey, this might be a great idea. I wish that somebody did this. See how it fits into the scheme of your business as it currently stands and see how you can expand on these businesses. Now, you don't have to take on a bunch of services that you're probably not ready to deliver or don't know how to deliver. This is where strategic partnerships come into play. Find other consultants in your area who do who offer complementary services that you can partner with and do a split, maybe a 50-50 split. Or look at hiring independent contractors to come on board to deliver your services. For example, I have to use one of my own examples. I come from the recruiting background. So let's say that you have a recruitment firm and you want to expand out. You can hire people to come on board or independent contractors to come on board just to handle the sourcing piece. Or you can do outplacement. Or you can do career coaching. So you see how those all tie into the recruitment piece? Or to go to a bigger scale, HR consulting. You can partner with HR consultants who maybe don't offering rec offer recruitment services, and that could be your area of expertise. So there are a variety of ways that you can expand your services and grow and reach more markets. The question is... Are you ready to sit down and figure out what's currently missing or what can you do that's different on the market? And you need to figure out what other markets or targets are interested in the services that you have to offer. Start with your own customers, the people that you're currently servicing, and use them kind of as a brainstorming um, forum or group and ask them for their input. Your customers are your best source of ideas. They will tell you in a minute what they're happy with, what they're not happy with, and what they wish they had. So good luck to you, Steve. I hope that this helps, and let me know how things are doing. If you have a question for me, just simply send it to Ask Adrian. Send me an email at info at empowerme.org or tweet me at Talent Diva using the hashtag RealTalk or drop me a line. Give me a call, 866-810-2525. Stay tuned for another episode of Ask Adrian. Have a great day.